What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Business Down Clean Energy's EV wrap up. I'm Antonio. Let's get started. So, to start off this week, we have a report published by Bloomberg New Energy Finance forecasting that larger electric sedans and SUVs will cost the same to produce as petrol and diesel models by the end of 2026. And that smaller cars will also reach the same threshold the following year. Now, I'm not sure why smaller cars are going to take longer, but we're still on a roller coaster ride as it's chugging to the top. But once that peak is reached where EVs are cheaper, healthier, and more convenient, production and innovation will come much easier, quicker, and become even more worthwhile. The great news is that's only five years away. The falling price of producing batteries paired with the increased efforts towards electrification will lead to cheaper car prices and a cleaner environment. And that sounds like a win-win to me. Next on the download, we have Louisville, Kentucky taking steps in their commitment to going green. Last week, Mayor Greg Fisher ordered city agencies to buy all electric and hybrid cars for their fleet moving forward. He stated that Louisville wants to serve as an example to this great transition America is making and save a little bit of money while doing it. It will also improve environmental health, which is a necessity for a city where gas-powered vehicles are the second largest source of carbon emissions. Must have read that article by Bloomberg because he's definitely planning ahead. He signed the executive order on a hood of an EV, and although they didn't say which automaker they will be buying from, I think I noticed that the EV was a Ford. Speaking of Ford, there's still an mission of finding an optimal solid state battery that is cheap in production costs and safe for consumer use. Ford along with BMW invested $130 million into Colorado startup Solid Power, which has garnered attention recently for its work in solid state batteries. Solid state batteries store a lot more energy than the traditional lithium ion alternatives. And Solid Power CEO claimed that their batteries can deliver about 50% more power than current industry standards without adding any weight to the car or truck. These promises hold up, BMW and Ford will be in great shape, making their EVs even more desirable. This would improve the range and the price of future electric cars and result in faster recharging as well. Line Electric Company, a Canadian maker of electric trucks and buses, is coming down to Joliet, Illinois to build its first ever U.S. plant. The $70 million facility is underway as we speak and will be about 900,000 square feet, making it one of the largest production plants of its kind. Right now, Line Electric manufactures most of its vehicles in Quebec. But this new Joliet location was chosen because of its proximity to highways and railways, creating convenience for distribution and usage throughout the states. Once this plant is up and running, it'll produce about 20,000 vehicles a year. The facility will bring around 800 jobs to the area within the next three years and almost double that in the next six. These aren't just any jobs. These are all future proof. If you think about it, Lion Electric is a growing company and electrification is a growing industry. So the Illinois economy is not complaining about that. Probably has a little something to do with Lion getting an $8 million incentive to set down its roots in Illinois. Anyway, they've already started the hiring process, so it won't be long before we see these magic school buses roam in the streets. I said magic, didn't I? I meant electric. Concluding the EV wrap-up, we have Mercedes-Benz dropping a sneak peek of a new all-electric van launching in 2022. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it. It's got a sleek men in black feel to it, which I'm about. It's named the electric EQT van, being a part of Mercedes EQ series. The van concept features 21 inch light alloy wheels, sliding doors on both sides for access to the third row of seats, and will be able to accommodate as many as seven. It's like a movie theater back there. Unfortunately, more specs aren't out yet, but the world's best selling luxury car maker plans to build eight fully electric vehicles on three continents next year to take on the big competitors in the market and to keep the smaller ones at bay. Anyway, that's all we have for you this week on the Business Download Clean Energy's EV wrap up. Comment on your favorite story below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.